Capricorn, I just did your reading. It was absolutely amazing. And then when I was listening back to the sound, <laughs> it wasn't recording on the right device. So we be sounding like a toilet in today's reading. I am so, 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 so sorry, but I'm not going to redo it. So I apologize in advance if the sound quality is not good. We're gonna we're gonna go through some upgrades um probably in the next week. So stay tuned for that. Enjoy your reading. Love you. Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your bonus reading. I hope you guys are all having the best day. Thank you so much for being here and for all of your love and your support. My channel is so close to 60,000 subscribers. Like, oh my god. Thank you so much for being here. Whether you're a returning subscriber or you are new or you've never been here before, I'm just so grateful to have this moment where we can connect, see what's going on in the stars, the vibes, what spirit wants to look out for, anything that might help you on your journey. Um, this is just like, you know, your check-in. End of October, early November, to your bonus reading. So let's see what you need to know, Capricorn. What is happening for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, placements? What do y'all need to know? Anything? We have the Great Goddess as your first card coming out. I'm going to pull one more. Very powerful stuff. I see you breaking through a very difficult time of your life, breaking through some sort of barrier, some sort of obstacle. Things are going to get so much easier for you. Seriously. By doing what you love, by following your heart, by following something that like is just you're so passionate about. Okay, there we go. Try to fly away. We have the truths. We're okay. We also have yin and yang at the bottom. This is so beautiful. I'm in divine flow and move in alignment. Yin and yang. Unity, balance, energy, and manifestation. It really feels like you are just in this divine flow. You're not really resisting the changes. You're not resisting the process. You're in, hold on, let me just set this over here. You are trusting yourself. You're being very patient and kind and loving to yourself, your body. You're listening to your intuition. You're following your heart. And you're being led down this path. Also within, there's a lot of inner work. We are in Scorpio season officially. So you might be doing a lot more shadow work, a lot more integration, doing a lot of healing, unpacking, but it's powerful and you're embracing, you're surrendering, and you're ready to ascend to a higher level of happiness, success, and abundance. And that's so amazing. So some of you, we have the truth coming out. So the truth, that which is true will always be enough honor, empress, and integrity. There's something coming about the truth, Capricorn. There's something about you need to speak your truth, you gaining the truth, um, everything that was done in the dark will find a way to shine kind of thing. Um, you know, but you are good enough and some of you have been restraining yourself from speaking something or sharing something, speaking your voice, right? Um, because you felt like maybe you'd be ignored or neglected or, um, you know, dismissed, but you, you know, your truth is enough. Your voice is enough. You need to be honest and truthful with yourself. And there's something, I don't know, there's just something about the truth coming up or is being illuminated during this time. There could be something about the new moon in Scorpio. Quite honestly, I don't know what day that is, but that's like early November. Um, we're getting closer to the new moon in Scorpio. So perhaps there's something around then that might be like this big breakthrough moment that you're having. Because you are going through some sort of breakthrough. It's does also kind of giving dark night of the soul, especially with the, the great goddess. She's underground. She's kind of representing the seed before sprouting and turning into a beautiful tree, a beautiful plant of some sort. There is this truth that has been incubating. Whether it's you having some sort of truth to reveal or share with the world or share with somebody a conversation that needs to be had or if this is something that is connected to you but it's from something external that is going to be revealed in the coming weeks so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that so far your numbers are 32 and 37 maybe those are significant for you maybe you are the age of 32 or 37 or there's just maybe that's just like you know an address or a phone number 
or something like that. I'm going to also pull you a couple cards from the archetype to see what energy you're working with during the time or what the, you know, what's in the air for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus. What do you all need to know what else will be aware of during this time for Capricorn? Let me clear what is in the air for Capricorn? What is the energy looking like? Energy forecast. We have ooh, the Bardo. The Bardo. Um, I'm not good with Roman numerals, y'all. I gotta be honest. I'm really not. I, this is, I don't know what number this is. Is this 50? I'm probably wrong. But the Lombardo, this is all about seeing things clearly. After trial and error, after witnessing this through many lifetimes, it's showing there's something coming up about karma, karmic contracts, um, some sort of vision that you've had or you will be having in the near future. Maybe this is a dream, maybe this is a meditation, you're opening your third eye. There's also like the eyes are the portal to the soul or the window to the soul. That's the proper saying. Eyes are the window to the soul. It's like, oh, when it comes to speaking the truth or having like a truthful conversation with someone, it's really important when you look into their eyes. And that's the thing with like, texting, phone calls, social media, you know, online, you can't look that person in the face or look them in the eyeball to see, are they being truthful? And even there can be people who will be dead lying to your face staring in your eyes they still could be lying so i mean your intuition will know but there's something about like there's something you're gonna be seeing or like a blindfold being ripped off or just seeing something you didn't understand or quite get before in the past it's all making sense or it's all starting to start to like click into place and this is about breaking the cycle definitely generational cycles curses you might call it um this feels very scorpionic too. Wow. This is totally like death rebirth and rebuilding yourself and transforming to a higher level. There's this huge ascension process you're undergoing and it is quite intense, but yet it's beautiful. And it also feels like your life is becoming more vivid. If you've been very like in a depressed funk or stuck or just unfulfilled, feeling just blocked. I really am feeling over the next couple of weeks, especially as we head into November, I'm feeling like your life is going to become way more colorful, way more vivid, more inspiring and fulfilling. Um, and it just feels like you're clearing comic contracts. All right, let's see what else you're dealing with during this time. Hmm. There's some sort of eye-opening moment or even with the truth card, right? We see in her, her eyes, in her third eye, something you've been intuitively sensing um, that's going to be confirmed in your reality in the 3D. But yeah, I kind of feel whoever I'm connecting to in this reading, there's some sort of like a cycle that you, this may be just connected to your lineage, right? Your great grandparents and so on and so on, all the generations that came before you. This might be talking about a cycle like that, or this is talking about like past lives that you had, um, where you experienced your soul went through the same thing, um, over and over and over. But in this lifetime, I don't care how old you are in this lifetime, you are closing that door. You're actually breaking this cycle. You've, your soul has learned the lesson. You've mastered something. What's the next card out here? Oh, wow, the dead end. Seriously, you've mastered something. This is done. This is a done deal. This is finished. This, this is, look at this. And the hand that's like reaching through. It's like something's finally come to a stop, a full stop. This is the end. Oh, shit. I'm also okay. I swear a lot to you. I've been getting a couple comments recently. Being like, you, you swear too much. I don't give a fuck. Go watch somebody else. I'm not your girl. I'm not your greeter. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. Um, especially if you're new here. This feels like another message. Some of you could be realizing or have it like for, you know, wherever you're at in your journey and you've been thinking a lot about the legacy you want to leave behind. And some of you are coming to the conclusion that you don't want to have children or you're not going to carry kids or it's, I'm seeing like some of you are, you're saying the like it ends here, like I'm the last of my generation. Like maybe you don't even have any siblings. Maybe you're like a only child that's for someone specific. Um, but you're like, no, like my bloodline ends here. Like some of you that familiar with what this is saying. Well, if that's you, comment down below. We'd love to hear, but the dead end, I mean, it's as simple as it can be. It's like, there's no, there, like this is it, it's final. There's no more 
of this what was. Um, obviously with every ending does say that there's a new beginning, but I'm also saying like there is a vibe where it's like you could be turning around or like, you're exploring something and there's nothing else and nothing else has changed. It's the same thing. And so you're like, okay, I'm going to do like a, a little U-turn. I'm going to go out of here because this is it. Like it's a dead end. I'm not going to get anything else from this experience, this place, this job, this person, this mindset, this habit. Like I've explored it all and that's it. This is a dead end. Like, Wow, I don't know, I just see you putting something to a concrete end. We have XL, extra large. We have large, la we have large, extra large. I'm just kidding, I know that these are Roman numerals. I don't do one of them. I'm only, I can do up to like 10. <laughs> it's embarrassing, I don't care, it's just not me. Um, we also have the cake at the bottom. So you are being called to explore something different, something um just out of the norm, out of the usual, you're being kind of like lured in, like you want to explore what, so you just hit a dead end, right? Okay, well now what? Ooh, let's try it on this path. Let's see what's out there. Let's see what is this. You're being guided to something that is different, all right? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Before we get into the tarot, I will be pulling a couple from a couple of oracle messages from the Everything Oracle. I was using it the other night. I was giving a reading to some friend of mine, and oh my god, I only use this deck and just how specific and just accurate. It was mind blowing. It was so crazy what came through. So I'm really loving this deck. Um, yeah, so this could be confirmation that this is your reading. This can be um, themes that might come up, extra messages or themes that might, I already said that, right? All right, let me just stop talking. What's going on with Capricorn? I find the more I'm shuffling this deck, the easier it is to shuffle. It used to be a struggle like a month ago. Now I can really get it mixed up. Okay, this deck is clearly ready. Let's see. Capricorn. Let's go for Capricorn. We have Test or Lesson as your first card out. Forgiveness is also at the bottom with changes sticking out. Forgive and forget. Don't forget, y'all. Don't forget. They're good. Forgive yourself. Maybe forgiving somebody else, but there's like a test or lesson. It could be surrounding forgiveness. Um, we have creativity coming out. What's going on for Capricorn? What do Capricorn need to know? We have new love. What's going on for Capricorn? Oh, this card's fine. Students, travel. One more, one more. Okay, they gave me two. Hidden enemy. Ooh, affair or third party. Ooh, okay. We also have light eyes. So perhaps this is what's connected with these messages that came out. Light eyes, somebody with light eyes, and maybe the hidden enemy, or there's like a third party situation specific. Well, let me see what this is about. If that's what you're finding out, you're putting this to an end. You're like, nope, I'm done. Goodbye. Travel, definitely seeing moving for some of you, or just taking a trip. Um, really wanting to expand your worldview, meet new people, have new experiences, really just see what the world has to offer. This is a great time for planning a trip for you, Capricorn. Um, so yeah, some of you maybe are on a trip or you're on a business trip, or some of you are like taking a trip that is relating to your studies, your traveling, um, or maybe you are studying in a broad a country. I was going to say company. <laughs> I mean, you're working for a company that has, um, you know, places throughout the world. I'm seeing, um, wow, I mean, like, some of you, if you're traveling, for those that are traveling in the near future, in this next month or so, I do see if you're single, you may potentially find somebody new in love, or romantically, or you might be traveling for a relationship, or meeting someone, maybe this is long distance. Um, creativity is also highlighted here, feeling the inspiration, feeling those juices just flowing through to start new projects or finish a project that you have yet to complete. And this is a time where you're finally inspired and you finally have the time to like, you know, close this door and start something new or branch out. Um, I'm saying like, some of you going back to school or you're considering yeah, if you are already in school and you're studying something, you might be thinking about like transferring to a different school or to a different campus, or like maybe it's across the country, or maybe it's a different country. Um, but yeah, hidden enemy and affair or third party. Yeah, I, again, I'm feeling strongly that whoever this message is for, it's something you were suspecting. It's just being brought to the surface, or all dirt gets washed out. All dirt comes out in the wash. That saying. 
So, um, yeah, and if you aren't aware of this, and if this is for you, it will come out through Scorpio season. Scorpio season is going to reveal all the dirty secrets, all the dirty laundry. Oh my God. Okay, so your numbers 78, 83, 53, 71, 9, 96, and 36. May be important, might be someone's age, birth year, locate not location, address, phone number. It just maybe it's just a lucky number. Maybe you have a jersey with one of those numbers. Um just, just wanted to pass that on. Let's get into the tarot. Are y'all ready? Um, I don't know. Did I mention at the beginning? I don't know if I mentioned. I do have um, private readings are available in the box below. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. So just in case, although I am quite booked for like the next week or so. So responses to your emails might be a little late. So be patient with me. Divine timings at play. Also, I know I'm like a little late with your reading Capricorn. We went from Wednesdays to Thursdays, and now we're here. Like this reading's gonna be up on Friday. Um, but I'm trusting it's all just divine timing, divine flow, whenever you're meant to hear this. So let's get into your reading with the tarot. See, oh, does this deck not want to shuffle? I kind of because I did shuffle it a lot before getting into your reading when I was just like cleansing my space and <sighs> All right, so maybe let's just see what the cards have to say. What's going on for Capricorn? The Fool. A Aries energy, as well as Aquarius. The last full moon that we had was an Aries. It was, I think it was the Hunter. The Hunter's moon. The Hunter's full moon. So I feel like that was a kickstart for you. New energy in the air. Out of this world. Out of the norm. Taking a chance, coming to the edge, exploring what is invigorating, a little nerve-wracking, but overall, really exciting stuff. Really, really exciting change in the air for you. We have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. Some of you just come into a windfall of money. Maybe this is inheritance, which, you know, rest in peace. My heart literally goes out like that. Okay. That, that that's a bit heavy. We went from really excited, like, okay, good fall money. And they're like, oh, wait, some of y'all are inheriting this. This is a, I'm also hearing a grant for somebody. Um, just like, you know, I'm seeing coming into a lot of abundance. Or perhaps this new journey is what you're st stepping into, leads to this stability, having all that you need. Really finally able to like just take a deep breath and sigh of relief like i don't see money as an issue for you but you're coming to a period if this is a new cycle that's starting or activating during this time you will never have to worry about money again there's enough to go around there's enough to share there's so much abundance that's just and blessings and rewards my laptop just made did y'all hear that it made like a little do i don't know if it it does Oh no, sorry. Actually, that's my dog upstairs. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what's going on. I don't care. That's my dog. She's making this whining sound. I literally thought it was my laptop. Okay. She's so funny. Anyways, abundance. Hell yeah. We love to see it. Eight of cups. So what you leave them behind? You're honestly just looking forward to the future. You're not even thinking about what's behind you. You've dealt with it. You've confronted it. You're really more just looking to the future and what's ahead, what lies ahead. And you're visualizing your dream life and how it's going to be and what you're going to do and who's going to be there, what your life consists of. You're really just imagining the next step, the next part of your journey. Um, Justice, also at the bottom, which we're coming out of Libra season, there was a lot of intense lessons and growth. And, you know, everybody had to be held accountable. You had to hold yourself accountable. Maybe this is about making some sort of, like, improving some sort of error or fixing a, a, mis fixing a mistake. I use that term lightly. I just see here that you can finally leave the past in the past and that there have been rights wrongs that have been right like rewriting the wrongs <laughs> like words are backwards y'all know what i mean literally juggling the the uh, justice rewriting the wrongs and finally getting the a-okay to move forward so that you can move past this level i feel like you've been granted access to the next level um you know you made some tweaks you made some adjustments finally 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 this can be behind you you never have to look back you never have to go through that again right that whole dead end energy from earlier 
All right, what else we got for Capricorn? What else do they need to know? We have <gasps> the sun. Can we get a, can this reading get any better? Like seriously, wow. Oh, you're so optimistic. Oh, here we got justice still at the bottom. You're just optimistic. You're pumped up. You're excited about the future. You have really just so much hope and inspiration and just good energy. You have such a positive outlook on life. And, where you know, even if it's uncertain, right? We have the moon in this card. So obviously the moon in the tarot, it can represent the unknown. It can represent a little discomfort, heavier, intense emotions. Obviously trusting and listening to your intuition, which you are. And it's leading you to so much joy happiness fulfillment stability reassurance success abundance financial freedom health good health like improvements all the way around full circle everything <laughs> all the whole scope the whole pie you get not just like a little slice of the pie you get the whole freaking pie uh, you know maybe you're maybe you're more of a pie person i like pie i'm more of a cake girl <laughs> but hey all right I just feel like life is getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, especially as we approach the end of 2024. Oh, and you know what? Capricorn coming, like Pluto and Capricorn, these are the final days, the final days in our lifetime. We're never going to experience this transit ever again. These are the final days because Pluto moves in Aquarius November, I think it's around like 10th, 12th, 13th, 14th, around then, I don't remember, maybe it's a little sooner. These are the final days, final countdown. So of course, you're leaving a very significant time of your life that started way back 2008, which I already know how that resonates in my life and it's insane and it's so symbolic of the cycle that's closing out. So definitely take a look at maybe what's going on from the start of 2008, the bigger themes, not so much the narrow little itty bitty themes, but like the grand scheme, like what has been under this pressure cooker. We, I mean, we've been seeing this in like obviously US, I'm over in Canada over here, so I'm just like a witness of what's going on. But even when we talk about 2008, there was a whole like stock market crash and I can't really talk too much about it, but like, all of what's happening in the world and what things are out. What the fuck? Oh my god, these there's big shifts in the air. And Pluto, our girl, Pluto. Is that a girl? Is that a boy? And me giving the gender to a planet? But like we all know the moon is a she. We all call her the moon, her, she's so pretty, the sun, more it's masculine. It's yeah. So I don't know. If you know, drop it down in the comments below. I should probably know this, I don't. But Pluto, as we're in Scorpio season, Pluto doing her thing. I'm gonna call Pluto her. <laughs> Powerful shifts. Powerful shifts, especially for Capricorn placements. Especially, well, so I mean, I know we just yapping astro talk, but it's true, everything that's connected. We're gonna, I'm sorry, but you know what? This, this, the planets are literally in this card, so how can I not acknowledge them? How can I not acknowledge them? There's this huge um, completion. Seriously. I'm getting someone's north or south node to be in Capricorn. All right, Seven of Pentacles. I mean, this is change you've been anticipating, change you've been waiting for, patiently you've been working so hard. Um, every single day, every single day, no matter how big or small the progress is that you've been putting to bettering yourself, bettering your life, integrating your shadow, loving yourself doing better learning from your mistakes it's just it's truly paying off and you are reaping the rewards of your hard work and it's so inspiring i'm so proud of you and you should be really proud of how far you've come uh, again no matter how big or small these accomplishments are you are doing just so incredible i'm so proud of you and this the best is yet to come like the best has yet to come you got so much good stuff coming on in we got five pentacles flipping out sideways. So I would say that like you're in the process of getting yourself out of a sticky situation, maybe a situation where you owe money or, you know, this is maybe about your credit score. <laughs> maybe this is just like about a living situation. Uh, let me see what the other card was. That flipped out. Hangman reverse. Yeah. 
There was this entanglement. Look at this. The, I'm not, this is interesting. I don't actually think the hangman in this deck. I've only had this deck for about like um, one third or two. I don't actually think the hangman has come out in reverse when I've used this because I've never seen it like this. And it's like, wow, it feels here like you have been entangled. You have been chained. Shout out to this Pluto and Capricorn. <laughs> Seriously, especially the last year, you, you know, there's been this pivot, a couple steps forward, and then a couple steps back. And it's like you're almost out of it, but then nope, you get sucked back in. It's like that's kind of what I've been seeing and maybe there's like loss of money and so this makes sense why the five of pentacles came out with it it's sideways so so it's, just, it's telling me you're in the process of clearing this you're in the process of you know making what I said earlier making um any wrongs right you're making corrections you are learning from your mistakes you are showing spirit the divine universe that you're ready and you've learned and you are prepared for the next le next level and you have what it takes to succeed and to really live that dream life and so here we are yeah okay so was there a bit of a loss here when you get caught up in some messy situations that were very difficult to break away from slash you may still be kind of stuck in at this moment but this is what's changing and if you're expecting this like you know that this is not gonna be for the rest of your life you know it's only a matter of time and it's not that much time left like seriously final countdown vibes <laughs> like seriously i'm feeling here <sighs> middle of november it's gonna be so interesting we're gonna do the november readings next week it's gonna be so interesting to see how this unfolds but i'm feeling like middle of november when pluto moves back into aquarius finally staying in aquarius for this time moving forward for like 20 some years or like 19 20 years everything's gonna change everything's shifting i'm actually the way i'm seeing this hangman instead of him because on the upright he's kind of losing pocket has changed, changed from his pockets. The way this looks like is more like money is falling onto you, like a windfall of money. Like you're attracting so much good luck, good fortune. You're inheriting like all these blessings, um, physically, like obviously money, gifts, um, items, rings, jewelry. Um, <laughs> it could be you know, like an old um, recipe book. Like, I don't know, something that's been passed on. It could be further. I don't know, but something that's passed on that's meaningful and valuable to you. It could be even just knowledge or a gift, like spiritual gifts, or it doesn't have to be spiritual. It could be like cooking or grain thumb. It could be some sort of passion that, you know, one of your ancestors has is being passed down to you. I don't know. I just really see like pocket, your pockets are being full. Money's raining down on you. Oh my God. <sighs> And even the way that, like, in the hangman, he kind of just looks like he's dancing. <laughs> he's just flowing. You know, he's, like, jumping. He's, like, yippee. And all, like, these chains can, look, chains can no longer hold you back. Oh, my God. I'm loving this reading. Well, and look. Look what's at the bottom, y'all. Look what's at the bottom. Ten of pentacles. Windfall of money. <sighs> wow. I'm seeing whoever I'm connecting to. You... You are going to be the first millionaire in your family. If that's how far you want to go. If you want to go even further. Fuck yeah. I'm seeing whoever I'm connecting to. You have this ability to really use your abilities and what you know and your knowledge and your skills and your talents and your spiritual gifts. You have this ability to do good for the world and you're being rewarded for it. There's just such a nice exchange it's so beautiful and I it, just it see like you have the potential to be like multi-millionaire and bring in a lot of money. And of, of course, it's not just about the money, but money does make the world, the world we live in. We need it in this, in this day and age. Who knows how things might be five, 10, 20 years from now though, right? It's not just about the money, but I do see, you know, we do need money to live our lives, to pay our bills, to feed ourselves, to live our dream lives, to travel, to, you know, money gives us more options. So I don't know what just happened. Yo, I don't know what the heck just happened. Something just stopped me from recording. Like it literally just cut off. Okay. Anyways, it would be silly to not acknowledge that, but in this day and age, we, we got to make money. We got to, you know, we got to spend money to make money too. But I'm seeing whatever, um, investments you're making, it's coming back to you tenfold. Whatever dollars you're spending, it comes back to you tenfold. You're the first, especially when we go back to the bardo, you are the first of your generation to 
live this kind of life, to have this lifestyle, to live your dream, to do what your ancestors can, could do, what your grandparents couldn't, right? You're living the life they never had the chance to experience or have the chance to live. And you're doing this and they're fucking proud of you. Like, they're so proud. You should be proud of yourself too. Incredible. Oh my goodness. Um... All right, any final thoughts, final messages? I don't really, I don't know. I really don't really need to clarify much. This tale is just really beautiful. And I don't really know if we need to do much war digging. We have the Emperor, Knight of Swords at the bottom. Um, here we got that Aries energy, driven, focused, bridging together, bridging communities, bridging worlds, um, really being a great leader, very great father. You know, this is more masculine energy. So even if you're not a masculine, um, you know, but you're just, you're a great provider and you're loyal and you're committed and you're honest and you're, you know, you have integrity, high standards for yourself, quality over quantity. It's not about how fast you do something. It's about, you know, the quality of the work you do and the love that you give and, you know, really just staying committed and dedicated and not half-assing or trying to cut corners or, you know, cut back on the quality. Like, you know, this is so powerful. You have a plan. You have a great plan. I also see here not a swords at the bottom so there could actually with this combination there could be someone coming towards you with the plan or with this kind of energy mentality however whatever i just described the emperor as you may actually have a person come to you embodying this emperor energy so you are an emperor yourself emperor empress you're embodying this strength and this <sighs> confidence there's this beautiful authentic confidence that you carry i'm seeing you're also attracting like-minded people not a story is saying that there is some sort of quick fast shift some sort of change or news that's coming on in let's see what this is six of wands wow okay and one more the four cups you, you know it looks like this is exceeding some sort of expectation you had like you knew you're going to be successful but i don't know if you expected it to be this quickly or this fast like if some of you is like overnight <laughs> like this is very sudden it just blows up you're getting so much attraction and so much success a lot of eyes on you too a lot of praise a lot of acknowledgement being cheered on taking the center stage y'all this is incredible you are so supported. People respect you. People see your vision and see what kind of person you are. It's very inspiring and it's inspiring people to do what you're doing. It's giving them the courage to, you know, rise up, stand up, confront, face their, themselves. It's just so beautiful. You have really a powerful magnetic aura and is attracting a lot of positive attention you're getting a lot of attention but it feels very positive and supportive um and i don't know if you were expecting this necessarily or it's like it's kind of like um out of the blue um but yeah you're being acknowledged look at this the star there's a huge wish of them coming in and you maybe i don't it's not that you didn't expect it i just don't think you expected it to be this great or like you knew it was going to be great but just this is exceeding your expectations Wow, I'm so happy for you, Capricorn. What a beautiful, powerful, inspiring reading. I don't need to clarify any of this. This is just very straight to the point and just clear as day. Incredible energy. Oh, wow. You guys are winning. You guys are truly, truly winning. Stepping into Scorpio season. It's so, so, so good. So, I love that for you. I'm so happy I was able to give you this reading. Definitely let me know how this resonates. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, info's in the description box down below. And next week we will be doing your November reading. So until then, oh, like my shirt, then peace out. <laughs> okay, bye Capricorn.